Hi everyone, this is the Math 30-1 Functions Review and this is question 13 in the polynomial section. It says the graph of the function f of x is equal to x cubed. Okay, This is translated horizontally to create a brand new function g of x. Okay, Now, let's just before we look at any other part of this question, let's just consider what's going on there. So we're starting with this function f of x is equal to x cubed and then we're going to create a brand new function by by applying a horizontal translation. Now, let's just think about what that is. I, I don't even know what the translation is, but what would that look like? Well, g of x is going to equal f of x minus some number here that's going to correspond to the horizontal translation. So let's just let's just call that h. Okay. So x minus h. Now, if h is positive, okay, this thing moves to the right. If it's negative, it's going to move to the left. But remember that that negative is going to change the, the sign on that. So this is what that's going to, that's going to look like just, to, just when we're trying to identify what that translation does to the function. Now we can be more specific here because we know what f of x is. So therefore we can write that g of x is going to equal x minus h cubed. Okay, so now remember how, remember how this works, how function notation works. Whatever's inside the parentheses here, that acts as the independent variable. So in this case, it's, it's a little complicated. It's x minus h. It's a binomial. But here, we go from the independent variable to the independent variable cubed. So now this is the independent variable. And it's just going to get cubed here. However, we're told one other thing. We're told that the point, okay, 4, 8, is on that transformed function. So... I've got g of 4. If I plug that in, I'm going to get 4 minus h cubed. Now, whatever you do, resist the temptation to want to, to want to cube that because I know that g of 4 is 8, okay, because that's, that's the point. That's the y coordinate of the point. So this will be 4 minus h cubed. Now, the reason I said before, uh, resist the temptation to expand that out is here because all we have to do here is cube root this. If you cube root both sides, we'll get 2 is equal to 4 minus h. So h is 2. Okay. And with that, we can write finally that g of x is simply equal to x minus 2 cubed. And that's what they're looking for in this question.